the question number 5 says that we have a venturi meter the venturi meter has a dia of 24 mm at the throat and it is used to measure the velocity of water in a horizontal pipe of dia 40 mm if the pressure difference of the pipe and the throat sections is found to be 30 kilopascals then what is the flow velocity if we neglect the frictional losses okay so this is how your venturi meter will look like like this okay so let us say this is the throat dia and this is the pipe dia or the pipe section so you will have pipe section as 1 1 and uh, throat section as 2 2 okay so d1 is the pipe dia which is 40 mm so d1 is 40 mm which is 0 0.04 meters d2 is the throat diameter so throat diameter is what uh, 20 mm so that comes out to be 0 0.02 meters okay now the difference between these two is 30 kilopascals that is p1 minus p2 this is not the pressure head so you will have p1 minus p2 as 30 kp uh, 30 kp uh, yeah, so it will become 30000 pascals okay now uh, let us say that at section 1 the velocity is v1 and at section 2 the velocity is v2 we have to find the flow velocity not the velocity of the velocity at the throat so for that i will apply the continuity equation so if you apply the continuity equation you will get v1 into d1 square is equal to v2 into d2 square so v2's value in terms of v1 would be 4 times v1 now why did we find that out we will just have a look so let us apply the Bernoulli's equation onto it so you will have uh, p2 upon rho g plus v2 square upon 2g is equal to p1 upon rho g plus v1 square upon 2g so let us bring these two together and let us bring these two together so you will get you have to find v1 basically so i can write down that v1 square on 2g this is equal to v2 square upon 2g okay and then minus p1 minus p2 upon rho g okay so i can uh, easily strike off the g from here and then i'll use the value to find out the value for v1 so v1 now this uh, v2 is basically 4 times v1 so i can put 4 v1 over here so you will get v1 square by 2 minus this becomes 16 times v1 square upon 2 minus p1 minus p2 upon rho so this is negative 15 v square v1 square upon 2 and this is minus p1 minus p2 upon rho so i can just get rid of this negative sign and uh, the value of v1 would then be under root 2 into this p1 minus p2 is 30 pascals or 30000 pascals so you'll have 30000 upon 1000 that's the density into 15 okay so this value would be if you just strike it off you will have 2000 then this three zeros can go with this thousand you will have four four and root will give you two so the velocity of flow is two meters per second so again a very simple question a very basic question draw a diagram write down the given data 
look at what is to be found out and then apply the Bernoulli's equation to calculate that. So I hope you understood this. Now let's move on to question number six.